Hello everyone, I'm Simone, tech specialist from Kiloview. In this video, I want to talk about our softwares, from NDI Core to Multiview Pro to Kiloview Intercom Server Pro. All this software can help you to translate your baseband production into IP workflow. From switching all your NDI and NDIHX feeds from all your encoders and decoders, record ISO camera NDI feeds, and also create multi-party line intercom system, whether your production is on-site or remote. With no further hesitation, let's go in the web UI of our software and see how they works. Let's go. Now let's open the web UI of the NDI core. Just put your username and password and go login. This is the main web UI of the NDI core. The NDI core will act as a router in between NDI sources both flavors of NDI and NDIHX. First thing first, go on the source management, select NDI input, and click on add inputs. Here on the public auto discovery, you will see all your available NDI sources. Let's select them all and press OK. Let's go now on the NDI output and create our output sources. For example, here with a plus add output, we are gonna use multiple outputs. Select OK, and now we have created four outputs. Let's go on the panel management. Select all, and now create our panel. Just simply give it a name and press OK. Go on to check details, and here, is the GUI where we gonna add inputs and outputs and then see our cross point and IO panel. On top here, select manage and add inputs. Let's select our inputs and press OK. And go OK again. On the output side, press manage again, select add outputs and select our outputs. Press OK and OK again. Here, if we move in the cross point, you will see it been populated with both inputs on the left and outputs on the top. If you click the arrow here, you will see the expanded name of the sources and the outputs. On the IO panel, we will have another visualization of the same cross point matrix. Now we will put the output of the NDI core as an input for the D350 and show on the monitor. We are now in the D350 web UI, click on discover, and you will see a server name appear. These are the outputs we have just created. Select, for example, output one and press add. Now let's close it. At this time, we have to select the inputs on the NDI core to then send them back to the outputs and go on the screen. In our cross point section, I can, for example, select my N60 and go to the output one. Now I'm gonna send the output of the NDI core to the D350 output. And now, as you can see, I have my N60 on the screen. I can also swap between the input sources and have a clean cut in between. If we come back to the cross point region, as you can see, I can select the various output like this and have a clean switch on the monitor on my side. Now let's have a look on the NDI recorder. This is the main GUI of the NDI recorder. As you can see here, we can decide the layout list from one up to 20 feet simultaneously. In the recording tab, we will have the unlock and lock feature. We will have our storage, where to save the file, how much the size limit, fixed size or fixed time duration, the NTP server, the languages, and the project name. For this specific test, let's use a four layout and add our NDI feed into the NDI recorder. I'm going to select my PTZ camera, my N60, and my vMix output. Now we will enable the record and start to recording our ISO cameras. Just simply click on the start button 
and start the recording. We can record easier camera, then move it to programs such as Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, and then move for editing really easily. Once we want to stop this, just press stop and stop the recording. We will find our feeds recorded separated and then editing later in the folder we have used for our recordings. Now let's have a look on the Kiloview Intercom Server Pro. Let's log in the web UI and create a new call. Give it a name. Click on the three dots and start the call. Once we have started, just select View Call. In order to access your devices, you can register it to the Kiloview Intercom server. I'm gonna add the P1 and the D350 in order to create a party line. On the far left corner, you select the three lines. And once the member management, you're gonna select device user, and you can add your devices. Simple as that, you just need the serial number of the device, create the authorization code, and then log in the web UI in HTTPS of each device to enable the intercom. On the terminal section, just select the plus and select our devices and press OK. They both turn green and are ready to communicate with themselves. We can also create different groups by just pressing the plus button here and create, for example, a group two where I can select the P1 to talk with the admin of this computer. To activate that, just click two times. In order to achieve intercom communication, you just simply need a USB headset like this. Just plug it into your encoder or decoder, grab your headset and start to talk. I have turned off my computer from the intercom party line right now. I'm gonna add it and you will see the echoing of me talking to the speaker. Test one, two, test one, two. And as you can see, intercom works. I hope you like this video. You can always reach us at www.kiloview.com and for any technical support, send us an email to support at kiloview.com. Stay tuned for more videos to come, subscribe to our channels and see you in the next one.